I remember the first time seeing you guys and I was blown away. First of all, everybody in that band, you all are just monster musicians, totally, monster musicians across totally. the board. But the the amount of different sounds, the soundscape, the sound spectrum that you guys um, use is so unique. And I was wondering if you could kind of talk us through like, when you're writing a song, does that stuff just kind of come out? Or do you like, what's your process for creating a soundscape like that? Mm, that is a great question. Sometimes I feel like, um, sometimes I feel like it comes really naturally and somebody just finds like a sound that they really like and that they feel like adds to the song. Um, but other times, like with Mother's Breath, that one was more thought out because I wanted to create this like thunderstorm kind of feeling in the beginning with the gradual like raindrop sounds and like different rumbles and stuff like that. Um, so for that, a lot of that came from just playing around in the studio and working with like different things that we could find like um, uh, Kevin Kozell, I don't know if it was his box. They had a box at the studio and it was full of like all these percussion instruments and they had these like little shell, this string of shells. So I used that and like kind of made like a little texture in the microphone. Um, so cool. Yeah, so just like kind of um, <clears throat> finding the sounds that fit with mm -hmm. that idea. Um, yeah it's kind of what happened naturally and mm -hmm. that's yeah and that's like I think you know when writing music in particular you you know you people have all their different methods and I and but it's what kind of mood that you can create because mm -hmm. specifically yeah. now there's so much technology, like you're just demonstrating there's so much technology to create so many different types of environments. So you can like sit back with your headphones and then just like envision an atmosphere, mm -hmm. which is like, I, I think, you know, the great bands like the Beatles, Led Zeppelin, like we could talk for days about the great bands back in the day. They did that the best that they could, but I think tech, technology has been able to push music in a way to where you can totally. you can just put people in a different atmosphere completely yeah, and I, think, a different world. I think you guys in particular like we were sitting there uh when we because we usually have like meetings about every guest and like just listen to the music and just like talk about how we feel like what like usually it's just like oh whoa did you hear that like we you know because we're, <laughs> we're music nerds and but um tots some would say tots <laughs> You would say, you would say tots. <laughs> I would say music nerds. Um, it's like, oh God, but, it's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, especially listening to Evolve, like exactly what the message you guys are trying to get across, we felt it. Oh, yeah, good. that, so, that so single, cool. or I guess that, that tune and that music video is so <laughs> moving. Like, like mm -hmm. so since since we're talking about evolve just so so everybody knows earth radio just released a new uh music video off or from a song off their album uh it's called evolve it's absolutely incredible and there's a section towards the end when you have this huge virtual choir so i have always like I know Eric Whitaker has done some virtual choir stuff like that. And every time I've seen it, it seems like it would be such a massive undertaking. So how did you guys manage that? Oh my, <laughs> it was a massive undertaking. Um, not like what Eric Whitaker has done though, because he's had like thousands of people yeah. Yeah. in one video. And I cannot imagine editing that many videos. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. um, probably why he, he could probably hire a, a team of people to do it. Oh, oh yeah, definitely. It has to be. <laughs> um, yeah, that song initially I envisioned inviting friends and family and community members into the studio, and to you know like hold hands and sing that part together. Yeah, it's cool. Um, but but then COVID 
became a big thing and quarantine happened and um, we weren't able to do that. So we thought of, you know, why not just do it virtually and have people send videos of them singing the song to us and then do a video. Um, and yeah, it was it was a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, I ended up doing it myself because Whew. we didn't really have like a budget to pay somebody to tediously edit right. each one of those videos. So I got Adobe Premiere Pro and just chiseled away at it. Yeah. I <laughs> can't. It looks wonderful. And we're going to share mm -hmm. this in a second, but it looks professional and you did this yourself. Uh. Yes. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, seriously. It, it's so good. Like the whole, I mean, the whole vibe of the video, it's just like, it's building and then you get there and it's like this huge, like mm. release almost where you're like, wow, like yeah. it, it just takes yeah. you away. It's awesome. Mm. So uh, kind of continuing on that process too. So you had did you send people like this is the part I want you to sing or mm -hmm. how? Okay. So you sent like yeah, the melody. So I, mm -hmm, yes. I um, recorded like a instructional video and put that on YouTube and just shared it with people. So I taught like the part and the words to people. Mm -hmm. And then like, I just recorded like um, me playing the piano over that section so that people could listen to it and sing to it and hear the part while they were singing to it. Um, perfect. Yeah. Yeah. That's perfect. It was, uh, it seemed, it must not have been as clear as intended um, because uh, many people actually did not sing to the track. <laughs> <laughs> Time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, so then, yeah. Uh, so they a probably bit more editing that was involved in that. <laughs> well, and it, what whatever editing you guys like you did was wonderful. It sounded great. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to share this with everybody right now. This is the last chorus of the new single from Earth Radio evolve and this is just the most gorgeous thing you're gonna hear